Assalamu alaikum viewers please like share and subscribe this channel links of pdf files used in this video are given in description so today's lecture is about titration of calcium and in this particular titration we will titrate calcium with edta so it is a direct complexometric edta titration so the question statement of this titration is to determine the amount per liter of calcium ions in a given sample solution volumetrically you are provided with 0.025 molar edta as standard solution so in this particular titration which is a direct complexometric edta titration calcium ions will be our analyte whereas 0.025 molar edta solution will be our standard solution and it will be acting as a titrant and we will take it in the burette whereas calcium ions will be taken in the flask so the theory of this titration is that it is a complexometric titration and in this titration a coordination complex is formed between analyte and the the uh, standard solution which is edta so our analyte is calcium ion it act as a central metal atom of that complex whereas edta or ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid will act as ligand so actually a complex is formed between edta and calcium ion that is why this titration is called as complexometric edta titration now edta is a hexadentate chelated ligand and uh, hexadentate means it donates six electron pairs at one time towards the central metal atom or ion next it is a chelated complex that it makes a stable ring formation with central metal atom or ion that is why it is also called as a chelated ligand the complex between edta and calcium will takes place at basic ph conditions so we will add buffer in the solution we will use muroxide as an indicator which is also acting as a ligand but it don't make so much stable complex with calcium as compared to edta so that is why we are using muroxide as an indicator of this titration the end point of this titration is the appearance of original color of muroxide which is purple in color in its purest form so this is the basic theory of this titration so this is the experimental setup of this titration as usual as edta is a titrant so we will take it in the burette whereas in the flask we will take 10 ml of sample solution which is of calcium ions we will add buffer to make its ph basic in nature and we will add indicator muroxide the original color of muroxide is purple but as we add it in the sample solution it makes complex with calcium and the color of that complex is rose red so as we are seeing the original Mm, color from purple is changed into a rose red color form so what now will happen as we are dropping edta from the burette into this flask the complex between the muroxide and calcium breaks and complex between edta and calcium forms so after some time after passing the midpoint uh, the color shifts from uh, this red to purple shade so it means now the complex between the muroxide and calcium is starting to break whereas complex between edta and metal has started to make so in this way a uh, color shift is happening so here in this slide is the explanation of color change chemistry so this is the purest form of uh, uh, indicator muroxide this indicator is also called as muroxide or it is also called as muricide or it is also called as ammonium perpurate or uh, ammonium salt of purpuric acid all these are the names of this indicator so in its purest form it is purple bright purple in color however as it makes complex with calcium ions so here we are seeing that a chelated complex is formed then the muroxide metal complex changes its color and it appears to be rose red so that is why uh, the color in the original titration is changed from rose red to purple shade as we are progressing in the titration so at second stage near the equivalence point uh, we are seeing here that the color is purple in color but it has reddish tone in it but as we are adding edta and all of the complex is formed between edta and uh, metal 
then the murex oil will set free and the appear original color of its will appear and this is its original color which is uh, pure purple color in its purest form so the appearance of original color of murex oil indicates that endpoint has been reached and we will now stop further addition of edta from the purex so the endpoint of this titration is pure purple color this slide describes the role of titrant or edta which is called as ethylene diamine amine tetraesteric acid so this is the uh, ethylene group these are the diamine group and these are the four tetraesteric acid groups actually rather than taking acetic acid we take acetic um, acid salt because if we take edta in its purest form rather than its salt then it will not be soluble in solution so in order to make it soluble we are taking disodium salt of edta so we can here also take tetra sodium salt but that will be too much basic in nature and the metal will form hydroxides so that is why in order to make balance in the basicity we always take disodium salt of edta now here in this slide we are seeing the complex with edta so we are seeing here that the metal has been attached with six sides from the edta so that is why edta is called as hexadentate ligand and we are saying here that there are too many rings which are formed with metal so that is why we are called that this complex is a chelated complex and it is a very much stable complex that is why in the presence of edta the complex between the murex oil and calcium will break and the complex will uh, uh, immediately form between uh, edta and calcium and this complex is very much stable and this complex has no color at all that is why we are not seeing any change in color uh, in the edta the change in color is only because of the change in structure of murex oil next we will observe and take calculation so in this way we have taken three readings and if we are seeing here that the mean volume of edta used is 10 ml so on one side we will write edta on other side we will write calcium so we will use the molarity formula which is m1 v1 over n1 is equal to m2 v2 over n2 so in place of m1 we will write the molarity of edta which is given in the question v1 is the a uh, mean of the edta volume which has been used in the titration m2 we want to find v2 is the volume of calcium uh, which is 10 ml which is the amount of sample solution and n2 and n1 are both are 1 1 as one molecule of edta may complex with one atom of calcium so we have to find m2 and by rearranging the above equation which is uh, and solving it so we get the answer which is 0.025 molar so in order to find the amount per liter of calcium we will multiply this molarity with the atomic mass or weight of the calcium which is 40 so the answer is 1 gram per liter so the final uh, result of this titration is that the given sample solution contains 1 gram per liter of calcium ions so this was all about today's titration between edta and calcium i hope you have well understood this uh, titration and its mechanism but if still you find any question let me know in the comment section i will respond to your queries as soon as possible okay thank you allah hafiz